Let's try a more harder one. A wordy word problem. Word. Johnson Electronics makes calculators. Consumer satisfaction is one of the top priorities of the company's management. The company guarantees a refund or replacement for any calculator that manufactures within two years of the date of purchase. Warranty. It is known from past data that despite all efforts, 5% of the calculators manufactured by the company malfunction within a two-year period. The company mailed a package of 10 randomly selected calculators to the store. Part A. Hey, Part A. Let X denote the number of calculators in this package of 10 that will be returned for refund or replacement within a two-year period. Using the binomial probabilities table, obtain the probability distribution of X and draw the graph of this probability distribution. Determine its mean and standard deviation. Let's go to the board for that one. Okay, so we went to the back of the book and we look and we see this guy. I recopied it here for you. Why? Because in part A, they want us to go and they want us to find the probability distribution and draw it. Well, that's it. It's that column with the numbers written next to each other. That's uh, the probability distribution. If we were going to go and we were going to graph that guy, bam, it would look like this, where the relative frequencies are on the side and the categories are there. And look, it's like Fat Joe. It's all lean back, lean back. I know. I've never seen something so askew. And why? Because the probability of success is 0 0.05. Well, that's the probability that a calculator is going to fail. And then n is 10. So, to continue off and to finish off, finish him. Part A, they're looking for the average of the expected value. That's n times p. And when we throw that in there, that's 0 0.05 times 10. So how many calculators do we expect to be returned to us? Mm, half a calculator. Okay, but what's the standard deviation of that guy? Nobody's really going to send back half a calculator, but that's what you would expect by volume. So then, the standard deviation. Yes, that is my notation for the standard deviation. That's the square root of n p q. Ooh. So then this is the square root of... Is this... No, you were fine. I thought it was too low. I was going to call it shorty. Get low, get low. My n is 10. My p is 0 0.05. What do I add to 0 0.05 to get 1? 0.95. Get in there, 9. And then you pound that out and you found out that your standard deviation is going to be 0 0.689202. Box yeah. and little flowers. And then, of course, a big flower for that one. Part B. Using the probability distribution from Part A, find the probability that exactly two of ten calculators will be returned for refund or replacement within a two-year period. Period. You ready for Part 2? I mean, B. Here, they want us to find the probability that we get exactly two using that distribution. Hey, 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 hey. They're looking for the probability of two. Can you read? This one right here. Bam! The probability of two is 0 0.0746. But I'm not going to let you go there. Bonus round. What if we're looking for the probability that P... Oh, Carl. What if we're looking for the probability that X is smaller than 2? What does that include? This is extra, extra. That's the probability that x is equal to 0, plus the probability that x is equal to 1, plus the probability that x is equal to... Oh, it's not including 2. 
So you're not going to do that part. So then we start. Why can I do this? Because they're I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. Independent. I know what that means. That means it's an or and I can add them. So I take point nine, point five, nine, eight, seven, and I add it to point three, one, five, one, and then add them. This is an eight. Great. Five plus eight is 13, carry a 1, it's okay, they're not heavy. 9 and 1 is 10 and 1 is 11, carry a 1, it's okay, it's not heavy. There's a 91% chance that less than two of those calculators are coming back. I'm bringing Box and Flower back. Yup!